Good evening. The time is 7.31, and I'll call this January 9th public hearing of the Mayor and Council of the City of Snowball to order. Okay. First, we're going to have the invocation. And, Reverend, I had your paper in front of me here 30 seconds ago. I know you're from Westminster. Please, if you would come up, introduce yourself, and give us the invitation. I appreciate it. I apologize. No worries. Thanks to Roger for inviting me. I'm Allison Perley, and I'm the pastor for Westminster Presbyterian Church. Glad to have you. Thank you. Let us pray. God of justice and mercy, thank you for the gift of life and for the opportunity to serve the people of our city. This evening we remember and give thanks especially for those who serve Snellville, for our teachers and our police officers, for our custodians and our park administration workers, for our medical personnel and our government officials, for our business owners and our counselors and ministers, and all who live into being good citizens of this city. Help all of us to work together to create a city that will please you and be a light in the world. We ask that you would bless this meeting tonight, help our leaders act with character and conviction, to listen with understanding and goodwill, to speak with charity and restraint, give them a spirit of kindness and service, remind them that they are stewards of your authority, guide and direct our city council representatives as they lead this community, Help them see the humanity and dignity of those who disagree with them and to treat all persons, no matter how weak or poor, with the reverence of your creation. And finally, Lord, renew us all with the strength of your presence and the joy of helping to build a community worthy of every human person. We ask this as your faithful servants, confident of your love and grace. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. <laughs> Roger, since I lost the paper you gave me, you introduced the person that's doing the pledge. Uh, His name is Roger Marlon. <laughs> 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 Good evening. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands.
another is a, over the Roman Church also, it's a uh, uh, R, I believe, R55 subdivision, single subdivision, 30 lots on 15 acres with a, uh, a lake that's parked from, which is, uh, I'm not sure the name of the road, but it's all on. Jason, what's uh, the name Lake of the road? Street, Lake huh? Street over there. It's Lake Street, Maple. Maple. Thank you very much. Right. Next, we'll have the Urban Redevelopment Authority. Commissioner Nick, do you have a report for us tonight, sir? Yes, sir, I do. Thank you. Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, on uh, November the 30th last year, we held our uh, planning session for the 2017 year. Uh, we're assisted by Kerry. Uh, barns of the Georgia EMC. Uh, some of the items we uh, covered were we discussed our dog friendly efforts for the Oak Road Passive Park and for the City Park. We also uh, discussed our plans for the Snellville Clean and Proud Initiative for 2017, I mean 2017, and our plans to meet with uh, Gwinnett Clean and Beautiful early this year to find out the best ways to implement a program such as this. And we're meeting with them at our meeting. Uh, we have a meeting next week of the URA and, and they will be there for that. We also plan to talk to staff about a spring cleanup campaign for the city to see if they would like to, if they have something planned for that and maybe you know, partner with them on something like that. We also continue to reach out to recent uh, to recruit new agency members to fill out our vacant slots, which we have three slots that are um, that are vacant, and also to increase our diversity on our board. We plan to meet with the Snellville, um, with Snellville Civic Associations to tell them about the URA and to see if any of their members would be interested in becoming part of our agency. And we hope this will be a productive year for our agency. Questions. Thank you very much. Not a question, a suggestion on your clean and beautiful campaign. You may want to touch base with uh, Councilwoman Glensky and her youth. Yes, we have, we have. We talked about that. I just didn't put that in the report. And in fact, I would also like to talk to them about possibly, you know, have a, a student on the UAR committee. Just to, new ideas are always welcome. You know. Great. Thank you very much, sir. That'll end our committee reports. And that'll take us to um, myself here. Well, a public hearing. Uh, I'll entertain a motion on the first reading of RZ 17-01. Motion to waive first reading on RZ 17-01. There's a motion on the report by Madison. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion of council? Seeing none, I follow vote. All those in favor, signify by raising your right hand. And six in favor. Motion carries. Uh, I'll again a motion on first reading COA 17-01. Motion to waive the first reading on COA 17-01 to be scheduled for the second reading and public hearing January 23rd meeting. There's a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Second. There's a motion on the second. Any further discussion of council? Seeing none, I call the question. All those in favor of the motion signify by raising your hand. That's six in favor. The motion carries. We have no consent agenda and no old business that will bring us to new business. First Order of business is the uh, approval of the 2017 Snellville Tourism and Trade uh, Stat contract. Um, Kelly, would you come forward? City manager isn't here this evening, so I, I'm going to um, ask council if anyone thought they'll have any questions of you, of you about the contract. We'll take a few minutes if you'd like to have any questions. 
I reviewed it. I had no question. There was a couple of uh, typo errors that we need to have corrected. I think that you were made aware of that. Were you made aware of that? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend a few tell and goes to the attention. Yeah, there's just a couple of things. On page one. I don't have, I don't have a copy of okay. the contract. In the fourth whereas, there's just an odd M in there. I think it should be in. Um, but uh, the, the main one was on page two under section one. It just references um, the event schedule for 2016. We just need to change that to 17. And, and y'all received the event schedule for 2017. Yes. Did everybody receive that in our budget? We didn't have the event schedule in our packet. Was that emailed separately? I thought it was in the packet. I've seen it, but I'm not sure what it was. Yeah, but from my understanding, it was the event schedule, the budget, and the contract. And the contract was the same as last year's contract. Well, if we don't have the event schedule and everyone's not settled with that, we need to maybe make sure that we get that put on the next schedule for the schedule itself, but we'll go ahead and put the contract. Okay? So. okay? I mean, I can still go, I can still put it out there because the plan was to put it out there, the event schedule this way. I don't think that there's going to be any problem. I don't think there's a problem, but okay. by the same token, until it's approved by council, okay. I can't tell you it's going to be. You know, I, I mean, I don't see any reason I would. Okay. I couldn't start the meeting at 6 30. <laughs> 29 hours. We don't have an actual schedule and date, but there is a list of the events. Okay, well, yeah, well we don't have the date, so. Just the date, so. Okay. I'm, I'm going to ask that you amend. Have we, we have not entertained the motion yet, correct? Okay, so let's entertain a motion first. And the motion should be just on the uh, budget itself, and not on the calendar of events. But if nobody makes a motion, it doesn't happen. Motion to approve the 2017 SAT contract as submitted. Second. We have a motion on the board, we have a second. Second. The motion is second. Is there any more discussion of council? Seeing none, I'll call the question. All those in favor of the 2017 staff contract signify by raising your hand. Contract's approved. Uh, we'll let you know on the calendar. Get it out to us. I'm sure it's not a problem, but we'll formally adopt it on the 23rd. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we have one more new business item. Consider, uh, consideration and action on award of bid for Oak Grove Park. Um, again, the city manager's not here. Uh, Dave, do you want to, you have it in front of you there? No. Basically, um, this is for the completion of Oak Grove Park. The low bidder was $281,000. Uh, this is money that's been set aside for the, we had $250,000 set aside for the, um, for finishing the park with the hard surface paths and things like that. It came in at $281,000. We were informed tonight in the work session by a city manager that because we've had some savings in some of the other areas, like our um, uh, re resurfacing and some other cuts of, of Park budget and other areas, we have $281,000 available to finish the project. So, staff's recommendation is that we approve the $281,000 uh, project and that will complete the park. But I will open this up to public hearing if anyone has anything to say about this, either for or against. Uh, please come up. We're going to be side 10 minutes if anybody has any conversation about it. So I'll uh, ask anybody who would to step forward now. Marcia Paris, 1749 Richfield Drive. Um, you keep saying 281000 to complete the park. Was there payments before the 281000 
No, oh, well, yes, there was 28,000 when we cleared the park um, in order to get the sidewalks. Do you need me to go over that? How that happened first for you? No. So it was 28,000 for the sidewalks. Yes. And then the Nothing except the 281? Correct. So basically we're looking at 300,000 for the park? Uh, the, this includes everything? Yes. Playground? Everything. 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 How did it go from being a passive park to an active park? It's not a passive park. It hasn't changed to an active park. I don't believe it can change to an active park because of the way it was purchased. To the best of my knowledge, it has to remain a passive park. Then why are we doing playground equipment? It's not, it's not, uh... The, the active classification would, would indicate fields, like soccer fields, baseball right. fields, those types of activities. And parking. A walking trail, picnic area, playground is not considered active. That's considered passive? That's passive. And there's no parking at all there? No. So, not even handicapped? My understanding is there is no problem. I don't think you're going to have many people at this park. Where's it going to come from? Well, that was the idea of the Oak Road sidewalks going all the way up and down on the front of the park, so that the neighborhoods and on the, that street. And now uh, Hill could get down and walk to the park. That was the whole reason for the sidewalk. That was the reason for the, that it was never built prior to now because there was no sidewalks to it. But now Hill was so hilly. By the time we get to the park, they'll be exhausted. <laughs> That's why it's a massive park. You can go there and lay down. That was pretty accurate to me. <laughs> Benches are going to be very comfortable. <laughs> Thank you, Marcy. It's uh, always a pleasure to have you. <laughs> no. Okay, wait till the next meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else that needs to say about it? Okay. I will entertain a motion. Motion to approve Severi Enterprises as the contractor and to authorize the mayor to sign the contract not to exceed $281,000 when reviewed by the city attorney and signed by and returned by the contractor. There's a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Second. Second. There's a motion and a second. Any further discussion of council? Seeing none, call the vote. All those in favor, signify by raising your hand. That's six in favor. The passive park stands approved. I consider that an accomplishment because it's only been 13 years in the making. Yeah. 2000, before you came on council, 2005, right? I think the sign said 2003. So government keeps moving forward. We got it. 13 years later, we're going to have a passive park on Oak Road. Could have worse. We're going to start. We're going to start on the one for Marcy next week. So we've got another one. 2029. We'll be there. That is that's the end of the uh, official business. Now we'll go to our council reports. I think we need to make an amendment to new business for the permission for New Jerusalem. Do you want to do that now or later? Yes, no, we can do that. Go ahead and make your motion. I'd like to make a motion that we provide a contract to New Jerusalem Baptist Church to use the stage and that that contract stipulate our standard rate for use of the stage for the Martin Luther King Day activities they have planned. And also, would you include on that motion uh, police assistance for traffic? Yes, police assistance for traffic as well. I have a motion on the floor. Is there a second? Second. There's a motion and a second. Any discussion of council? Seeing none, call the question. All those in favor, so you can the raise your right hand. That's six in favor. It's approved. It's approved. Now we'll go to council reports. Mr. Mayor?
coming up on Martin Luther King Day. Again, we're going to have some activities for Give Hunger the Boot with bringing food to the co-op. Uh, we've done really well this year. <coughs> Apparently, Grayson, being afraid of losing once again, has declined to participate in our challenge. So this year we challenge ourselves, and uh, we're going to beat ourselves from last year. But that doesn't mean you still can't bring something. We have a bin out in front. We have donation boxes around town. So let's see if we can make this one go off with a bang and see if we can get something that Grayson will never be able to achieve. Mr. Howard. Hello, everybody. Happy New Year.